You want to see this? You want to see? Oh, no, they don't want to see it. Oh, yeah, they don't? Sure does look like it. Yeah. That's not good. What you get? Oh, look at this. Oh, so tattoo art ink. Let's check it out. I've never been into a tattoo. It's good. There's a wallet with $100 pills right here. <gasps> hey there, guys. Hey there, Locker Nuts. I didn't see you. All right, Locker Nuts, got one today. We did. How much do you think we paid for this? Can I tell them? How much do you think we paid for this? 10 bucks. 10. $10.92 to be exact because of sales tax. Thank you, State of California, for- We love you, State of California. Stealing our money, giving it away. You ready? It's not better. No, I'm, I'm not. Ready? You wanna see this? You wanna see? Oh, no, they don't wanna see it. Oh, yeah, they wanna see it. Oh, they wanna see it, okay. All right, there it is. <laughs> Woo! Doesn't look like much. Let's it take does. a peek inside. Here we go. What From the like? doorway, here's what we saw. Hmm. What'd you like? Uh, I like the tool bag. We know those sell good. There's something on there, leather or something in there. I like the paintings. Uh, paintings, she likes the paintings. Mm -hmm. Chandelier looks all right. I don't know how easy those are to sell. But uh, tell you what does not look very good is whatever this exercise thing is here. Oh, I didn't think it was an exercise. It's kind of one of those things you lay. That's an exercise. Oh, you think it's like a back thing? I thought it was maybe. Oh. That's yeah, maybe you're right. Was. That's what it is. Maybe. maybe. Elite fitness. Oh, look at this. We have a locked bag. This is kind of more like a storage shed this is unit, right it, yeah it's hard to say what what was the I mean, what happened here did they leave it behind or did they just not fill it up that's always the question you can almost see everything that we have here so yeah uh this is going to be the mystery in here and this is going to be the mystery all right well i'll tell you what though honestly that egg right there whatever that I didn't is see that. that that did pique my curiosity I, didn't see that. I saw something i think on sotheby's today that look just like that on their email. Should we set up on the back of the truck so everyone can see? Yeah. Alright, Locker Nuts, look. I'm gloved. After many requests. Rookie. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to die of a weird disease. Jenna wants, to, Jenna wants to take everything out here and go through on the back of the truck. Well, so, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Just so you know. Alright. Let's check it out. Got some safety goggles, glasses, a charger, and a wallet. Hmm. A wallet. Got any money there? No. Empty wallet. No it's change. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So next we have this leather case. Looks kind of old. Looks like a men's like toiletry case, right? That's, I mean, that's that's what made everyone interested, I think, in this locker right there. What do you think? Hmm. Although, what, what is this? Switch sticks. You know what those are? No. What is that? I don't know, they're like long, needly, it's like switch, the bag switch stick. And there's a whole bunch of these in it. Does anyone know what these are? Is that a needle? It sure does look like it. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. They, they look like they've been used too, because they're open. Okay. I don't, does that look like it's got blood or something on it? Yeah, I'm just kind of glad I'm wearing Let me get my glasses, glasses on. This what? is a tattoo kit, that's what this is. And that's, oh my goodness, I put my gloves on. I can see way better. Whoa, who would have thought that? Look at the, uh, oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> put my glasses on. Okay, where are we at? Right here. Do you guys see that? So these are there's actually, there's like five or six different needles on the end of this. Are you serious? Well, yeah, that, I guess that's what a tattoo so this is thing is. tattoo stuff. Yeah. Wow. But this should be. I'm glad I'm wearing my gloves. Well, those aren't really gonna protect you from much, but this will sell. These things sell. These tattoo machines, right? Yeah, put them on. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. 
Why does it say Winchester? It looks like bullets. Mm. Is that just the design? Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks like a revolver. Yeah, they took 38 a revolver special. and made a... Oh. They maybe custom? They decorated it? I don't know. That's hecka cool. This okay, one? needle's not so much cool. The, oh, wow. Are you getting that on the camera? My goodness, that's cool. Okay. It's my 10 buck deal's looking kind of good now. <laughs> Each of these probably is 10 bucks. Do you think that's it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe more, but I said I think at least 10. They're nice. They're in good condition, too. Probably I should be wearing gloves right now. Yes. Go comment get... below if you think I should be wearing my gloves yes, right now. Yes. Comment below if you think you should be wearing gloves. So I'm going to put this aside. Get your gloves on. Hmm. Intriguing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Whoa, this is cool. This is actually really cool. It's probably a high, like, volume light. So the base is really heavy. And you got this flex lamp right here so you can position it. Some. That's pretty cool. I don't is know this, if it's worth anything, but it's is this the, um, definitely very functional. Cord? 11 volts. This is 11 volts. So I wonder if this is special for um, no. the tattoo. No, it's just LED. But it's probably pretty bright. We'll take it home. Okay, let's go through this. Actually, Manuel saw this backpack. I don't know what that is. It looks like bleach. Bleach. And um, Manuel saw the backpack and he was interested in uh, the camouflage. You can see the camouflage. He spotted that. And uh, he was definitely dead on about that. Hmm. What is this? Some sort of a pedal or something? For air, maybe? No, this is another thing. I thought for tattooing. Okay. But maybe not. Let me save that. Yep. There's another pedal. We can open a tattoo shop now, honey. It's interesting. It looks like speaker, uh, like a guitar cable. Yeah. It's for the tattooing. Sanitizing things. Ink stir. Yeah. Don't mess with that. Who knows what's in it? Yeah, it just it goes around. Look at that. The spins you put in the ink and it stirs up your ink. It's cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool, huh? We found a tattoo artist locker. Hmm. This is a new one for us, huh? Yeah. And we should get. Oh, look at this. Oh, so tattoo art ink. Hmm. Huh. Look at that, you guys. I've never found this. I found tattoo guns before, and they do sell. Sometimes they take a long time, but they do sell. But uh, I've never found this. Outlining ink. Hmm. Huh. And then all different colors. This is really neat. Yeah, this is worth some money. All right, next bag. Bolts, like for furniture. And not a lot in this one. Got some strap and some socks. This looks like leave behinds right here. Perhaps. It's another like hardware. It's all. Um, bolts and stuff like when you take like bunk beds apart that's what you're left with oh there you go okay. next bag here what is this <laughs> report covers okay oh, our daughter just needed one of those the other day mm -hmm. those are a dollar each people this thing stinks like cigarettes too does Doesn't it? it yeah that i did smell something I think it does. All right, here's the next crate we have. Looks like a light, an older light, just part of it. Um, a wire basket is in here. And then um, some like candles, candles like fake candles. They're pretty dusty. Are they fake? Yeah. Oh, right. that's good. I think they actually sell better when they're fake. That looks kind of Christmassy. Oh, well, look oh, at that. Christmas. Christmas. It's almost here. You uh, have good stuff this time? Huh. Actually, Cute. it does look kind of good, huh? The male. Oh, look at the Ooh. reindeer. That's nice. Peas, yeah, these are nice. Oh. Birds, and with Christmas coming up, some of this is a little bit more junky than others, but it looks like it got in some moisture. Whoa! That little fella's hit some mold. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's too bad. There's mold on the lid. Oh! Yeah, there's some moisture they got in here. Oh, really? Some of the elves have been molded out. Woo! That's the smallest elf. Well, let's just dump the whole thing if it's molded. Well, there's some good ones in here. Let's just look and see if there's anything more. Yep. All right. It's really unfortunate that there's total water damage in here. Because there's some nice ornament. Oh. Okay. More ornaments. And then the bottom, nothing. All right, we got this little bench right here. It's kind of cool. I don't know. What do you think this is for? Sitting? Or it's exercise. No. I don't think so. It's not. It's not. You can tell. It's. It's. See. It's. It's bending under me. It's two hundred pounds of muscle right there. Okay. Your point. But no, they don't make uh, exercise stools with storage compartments. This is like for a kids' room or something. But do you think it's meant to be standing on, or, or actually like maybe in the bathroom for kids to stand on to get I don't up know, to the sink? Do you see a brand on it? Because it is kind of nice. Uh, no. Wait. Well, we'll ask our viewers. Ikea. It's Let's Ikea. Uh, so it's a bench. Yeah. It's like got to be for like a kids' bench. room. Yeah. More water damage. It's got mold on the... Okay. This is what caught my eye. I love these. Does anyone know anything about them? They're adorable. Look at their eyes. Right? I don't know. Adorable is the word. You don't think so? Oh, man. They're just... It's what? with the tights. Honey, they're or elves little, or a little... Elves? They're cute. They're little kids. They're jesters. They? Is that what they are? They're little jesters. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's put the brand. What's the name on this? Malo? Has anyone ever seen this? Can you I think it's M-A-I-O. Mayo? This one's got Oh, the you're right. You're right. You're one. right. That one doesn't. So it's noticeable. Yeah. So, Mayo. Does anyone know about Mayo? This is a... Uh, this is a uh, lithograph, right? It's just a print. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a print. And it's, it's printed on canvas. That's the, what's on the back. I don't know what that means. But... Okay. It's a bag of wires and cords. Yep. Give me your wisdom, Jedi. Oh, that's just computer cables. Okay, found this cool bag. And it's locked. But there's nothing in it. So that's kind of funny. So I'm thinking something valuable was in here at some time. But perhaps they took it out. Okay. <laughs> that's a big bag. What do we got in here? You want to go through it? Do you want me to? You can. Fresh New York. Or X Fresh. Ooh. That's a big size. All right, some jeans. Kirkland. Kirkland. Costco. Costco! Jacket. Oh, it's Polo Ralph Lauren. That's nice. actually pretty nice, huh? Super nice. Double XL. <laughs> Model one. moment. It's a great color on you, honey. Catwalk, everyone. Huh? Looks good on you, babe. This is a Polo. Keep it, Gibbs. Tell us, comment below, should he keep it, yes or no? Okay, this is a big bag and there's a lot of clothes, but there wasn't really that much exciting in there, but the clothes are definitely sellable and this might be our saving grace. There's actually one other bag as well, all clothes, most of it sellable and uh, decent stuff. But I'm not going to take my time with this, we're going to fast forward it, you get the idea. There's a wallet with $100 bills right here. <gasps> Just no, kidding. It's going to be Raiders. Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty. Sears sweatshirt. Boom. Jacket. Sport jacket. This looks kind of nice. Looks like for outdoor skiing or something. Another kid's sweatshirt. Jack. Saw this. I did not. Super pretty, right? Pretty colors, right? Yeah. I'll load that up in the truck. Yeah, we got like four of these shelf things, and these are um, usually pretty good sellers. I didn't see the rest of the parts, the poles, and the little clips, but uh, it's all rusted up. 
So this is probably gonna go to metal recycle. These, no one's gonna buy these. So this is chandelier. Has some beautiful light fixtures. It's nice yellow. Hey there, guys. Hey there, locker nuts. I didn't see you. See how long it takes Jana to figure out how to fold this. Does it fold? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does, babe. Few more items to go. Look what Jack Chestnut has. It could be <laughs> it could be amazing. Dun -da -da. Jana is excited about this piece of cardboard. Yeah. Wait, there's nothing in it. Oh. Shut up! I thought it was like a tube oh, holding a beautiful painting or something. This is actually kind of decent right here. Um, I think. This is a bracket for a punching bag. Am I right on that? I think that's what it is. You hang a punk punching bag on there? I believe that's what it is. Some people thought it was for working out. But you had another idea, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was one of those gravitation or whatever. I think that's what it is. How should we put it out? Ready? Want to try it out? Go ahead. No, you try it out. Oh, man, it feels like it's going to fall apart. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. It's not locked it's not in. It's not supposed to do that, right? It's supposed to be locked in the... You know? I think it's defective. So try it anyways? Sure. No, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it'd be a great idea. No, I don't think it's a good idea. Because then when I go upside down, there's nothing to hold it in place. It's just going to drop me right over my head. I'll hold you. Because the bar, you can't hold me if you wanted to. So you just hold on to this. This is what stabilizes you. You hold on to this. No can do. All right, well, that's going to be a wrap. All right, so the best items that we've found so far, tattoo guns. And uh, maybe there's some value here. So Jana and I are going to take these into a local tattoo parlor and ask for some expert advice if uh, to see if we have anything good here. So here we go. So this is the local place I call. They were super nice and said, yeah, bring them on in and we can, we got them all, all four in there. Let's check it out. I've never been into a tattoo. Hey, yeah, I actually called. Are you Jordan? Yes. I talked to you on the phone. Okay. Yeah. Should I show them to you? The yes. Okay. Sure, we'll get here. Um, I will actually grab my Okay. I'm Jana. I'm Mike. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Mike. Do you mind if we video it for our channel, our YouTube? Uh, probably not. All right, so the tattoo artist unfortunately didn't want to be filmed on camera. No problem, I get it. So he kind of explained it to us. He doesn't really feel comfortable looking at used tattoo equipment because this is sort of a an industry that's kind of frowned upon by the professionals, right? They don't think that people should be doing this themselves. Um, there are medical reasons for that uh, because we're dealing with blood basically because it's needles and also because um, I, there's probably just some professional standards that they think are jeopardized when people buy cheap tattoo guns from China and it turns out that's what these are. I, I'm really surprised see because this looks to me to be kind of a little bit fancier one. This one with the uh, bullets to make it look like a revolver. I think that's kind of cool to play on tattoo gun but um yeah these look nicer than anything that i had found before but there's not really any value he said these are very inexpensive made in china can get them very um very cheaply turns out though that they still have the needles in them <laughs> we didn't realize that so they uh, were very kind and took the needles out and then cleaned all the equipment for us free of charge and gave us a little bit of more info on it and also put the fear in us that uh, we should be a lot more careful when we handle such items in the future. Definitely glove up and uh, be more careful with them. So thanks you guys for um, for giving us that advice and taking a look at that. That's the first time we had done that and um, we definitely appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't like a super exciting one, but we only paid 10 bucks. So we got a lot of clothes and stuff to sell. We'll make a little profit on it, but really, this is the only thing we bought at the auctions that day. So we just wanted to share it with you guys. And if you like that sort of thing, hit me the thumbs up, all right, and subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more good stuff coming. 
So we took a little break from our Vintage Gamble Locker series. We're going to get right back to that. We've got a couple more episodes, great things to show you, a whole bunch of boxes we haven't gone through yet, and still some more of those vintage photos to look through. I know you guys love that kind of stuff, but you're going to have to wait till then to see it. But until then, good luck to you guys. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Logger Nuts. One of the items we found is this lamp, the LED lamp. And um, it's kind of a nice surprise because look at the on off switch is just a sensor here. Press it, one, two, three levels of lighting. You know, that's kind of cool actually. And uh, it's very flexible, decently bright. And I think I'm gonna keep it.